College football week two is here. Today we're going to take a look at Kansas at Illinois, a Big 12, Big 10 matchup rematch from last year's selection and analysis upcoming. But first, I want to tell you all about a three-day all-sports access pass offered here as a special this week by Wager Talk. You can get three days all sports, every play I release for just $49. It includes the WNBA the CFL, and most importantly, it includes all NFL plays beginning with tonight and then the college football weekend as well. Any 5% blue chips are included in this package. Once again, it's three days, all sports, just $49. You can pick your own starting date. Start it whenever you choose. It'll end um, three days later. So once again, don't miss out on this chance to receive an all-access pass. This special, just 49 bucks. It's a limited time offer, so jump in. Grab yours now. Now let's get into this Kansas-Illinois game here. A um, couple of things that we want to look at. First off, it is a rematch from last year. Game opened um, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. Opened up Kansas minus 5 and 55 and a half. Current number Kansas minus 5 and a half and 56. So a little uptick in both. Um, game goes 6 o'clock Central on Saturday. Last year's game, Kansas was home. Minus three. They win the game 34 to 23. Final score is a little deceptive. Kansas was a runaway winner in that game, led 28 to 7 at halftime. Illinois won the second half 16 to 6, but Kansas scored on their first six possessions of, or excuse me, their first four possessions of the game. How about these drives, though? 10 plays, 82 yards, 13 plays, 85 yards, 11 plays, 94 yards, four plays, 75 yards, just up and down the field. They had a massive 539 to 341 total yard advantage in that game, almost a 200-yard difference. And on defense, Kansas had six sacks in that particular contest. Kansas, they probably let off the gas pedal a little bit in the second half. Illinois head coach Brett Bielema made a couple of second-half adjustments to, you know, close the gap somewhat. But the question here is, is one season enough plus home field to change the Kansas dominance that was last year? The matchups here, <clears throat> Kansas's offensive skill uh, talent comes back just about intact entirely here. QB Jalen Daniels, who actually played in this game last season um, before he got hurt towards the end of the season. Running backs Devin Neal, Daniel Hinshaw, basically every wide receiver um, that played last year comes back here. So they've got all their talent back. It's difficult to see Illinois, even with some improvement, shutting this offense down. But the counter to that is probably Illinois' offense is far better than it was last year. Head coach Brett Bielema was an offensive line guru by trade, and he's absolutely in love with this offensive line. And games are won in the trenches. In this instance, Kansas's defensive line may be somewhat of a weaker link. They lost some talent, especially in the pass rush category, where um, they lost their top Pass rusher Austin Booker to the NFL. He now plays for the Chicago Bears. So maybe the offensive line can move um, Kansas out a little bit. Certainly quarterback Luke Altmyer in better shape this year. Uh, the passing game's in better shape this year. Illinois at home. Maybe they can do a little bit of damage. I kind of think they can. I think they can limit the sacks and they can maintain some balance on the offensive side. Um Last week for both of these teams was the ultimate just let's get in and get out type of games. Can't really judge much off of the statistics from last week. So we're going to go ahead and um, feel like people. They, both teams probably held back a little bit, a little bit vanilla. I think Kansas is going to score here, but Illinois, I think, can match them. The play here is going to be twofold. I think the primary play here is uh, Illinois plus the five and a half as a home dog. And then a secondary play here with the total over 56 and a half. I feel like Illinois is going to have to match points a little bit with Kansas here. And I think that they can. So that's the way we're going to look at this one. We're going to go ahead and try Illinois plus the five and a half. We're going to go ahead and play over 56 and a half as the secondary play here. On the way out, please hit the like button, comment on this game. Who do you like in this contest? Who do you like this weekend? I'll answer all the comments as quickly as I can. Click subscribe, join the 166,000 people that already have joined Wager Talk TV. We'll see you soon with our next selection and analysis. For now, Rob Vino saying good luck with all your bets.